These are the new Ray-Ban Meta sunglasses. They used to be called Stories, but now they're called Meta. This is the new version, the 12 megapixel version. So you're going to see some improved video and photography quality. The case has also changed as well, as have the packaging materials. They give you a nice cleaning cloth again, which is nice, and a little book with some instructions. You don't really need it. You can just scan the QR code and you're off to the races. Pretty simple to set up. It was a lot faster to set up than the old story, so that's interesting. Funny story, I actually went underwater with my stories. Don't do that, they are not waterproof. <laughs> $300 down the drain. So you'll see it has a green charge indicator right on a case too, and the case has a little bit more, a little more traditional glasses case. Now they charge on the front right underneath the nose piece. Not sure how that's gonna work out. I couldn't feel it when I had them on, so that's a good thing. They used to charge underneath the arms. So uh, apparently they changed that for some reason. They're about the same size. I got the black ones with the transition lenses so I could wear them inside or outside. And a switch appears to have, I think, yeah, it's on the same side there. And they just look a little bit different. I can tell you that they do sound better for sure. It's amazing. These are Felicia's. She did not get the transition. She has the sunglasses. She has the original stories. And I just wanted to show you that they, they look, it, I mean, it's the classic Wayfair design. No changes there, so that's good. You get them in a couple different styles, but I've always preferred these. So you can see that the button has shrunk a little bit, and you can set it to do video with one tap or video with a long tap. So that is interesting, too. And you have a charging indicator right on the front of the case, which is a little bigger than that little dot was there last time. They look great, and they feel really good on your face, just like my other ones did. Now, here's the setup routine you're going to go through. You have to connect it with a Meta account now. There's no way around this, but you only have to do this, I think, one or a couple of times. And the only other reason you need to interface with your Meta account is if you want to live stream on Facebook or Instagram, which you can do through the camera on these glasses, which is pretty cool. The Bluetooth was super fast. It actually crashed the app as soon as it was done connecting. It was kind of weird. And uh, right after I paired it, it's like, oh, I'm gone. So you go to activate and boom, it was gone. So it goes through this little doodad here. It shows you how to use them, how to swipe the side to change the volume, how to pause your music and how you can set the different modes of picture taking. So that's pretty cool. So I wanted to take some video. This is real video taken with my new Ray-Ban Menace. And you can see it is some insane HD video. That 12 megapixel camera makes a big difference. I mean, these colors are bright and popping and super clear. And Fluffy looks good, too. Well, she always looks good. She was made for camera. I took some forestry, and we'll do some more videos in the next couple of uh, days. Really test the limits of these things. And we did an audio test, too. Let's hear how that sounds. So there's a new microphone array as well. It has five microphones. It's supposed to be super clear. And we'll test that as well to make sure that uh, everybody can hear us clearly. But these are the new Ray-Ban Metas. So far, two thumbs up. They're looking great. One thing I did notice is the light comes on in the middle of the lens. So you may not be able to hide it like you did before. And here's all the stuff you can do with the app. Again, you can live stream directly from the app on Facebook or Instagram based on the account that you set your glasses up with. But uh, pretty cool stuff. And I can't wait to really dig in and explore the functions of the new Ray-Ban Meadows.